Welcome to Capri Dopper, where my husband James and I have been working since the latter part of November 2022. My name is Beth Kahiga, and my husband James researches on a regular basis to learn more about running a farm in Kenya. We raise pure South African dopper sheep from our breeding sheep that we imported from South Africa. Today, we will be discussing strategies to help newborn and wean lambs not only survive, but thrive. Studies show that lamb survival rates between birth and three months can vary, ranging from 75% to 90%. These rates depend heavily on factors such as management practices and environmental conditions. In our experience, these rates can be significantly lower when both management practices and environmental conditions are not optimal. James has learned many of the techniques that we implement at Capri Dopper through research on the internet, education at universities and volunteering on farms in the United States, visiting and being educated by some of the top breeders in South Africa, and through the daily running of our farm in Kenya. He educates me, and I am now entrusted with sharing this information with you. Please join us on our journey where we educate ourselves and share this information with you so we all can become better farmers in Kenya. Consider subscribing to our channel. It's free or visit it often for new information. As of April 2025, this video is an overview of how we care for our newborn and weaned pure South African dopper lambs so they survive and thrive. We are not veterinarians and therefore encourage you to hire your own vet consultant. Please make sure to check back for updates as we are always researching and learning more information about practices that can make us all better farmers in Kenya. If you haven't already watched our video on caring for pregnant South African ewes, it's highly recommended. Proper care for ewes and rams before breeding and during pregnancy is crucial as it significantly impacts their offspring and mortality rates. At Capri Dopper, we ensure that we do not interbreed or breed rams or ewes that are weak, unhealthy, or deformed. This practice helps us maintain high quality standards and minimize mortalities among lambs. Newborn lambs are immediately treated and given five milliliters of Calpro probiotics immediately after birth. This introduces beneficial microbes into their gut, which reduces the risk of harmful bacteria. Their umbilical cord is cut to one inch with disinfected scissors and is treated with iodine to minimize the risk of bacterial infection. We also make sure the lamb is warm, either outside in the sun or inside with warming lights. Be sure to hang fly tape to control flies and decrease the risk of disease. We immediately administer 200 milliliters of colostrum three times every two hours or 10% of their body weight during the first 24 hours. This is done by milking the ewe right away to ensure there is enough colostrum available and then manually feeding the lamb using a feeding tube.
At Capri Dapper, when a ewe loses a lamb, we milk her and freeze the colostrum for later use. This is particularly helpful in situations where you may not initially have sufficient milk for her lamb. If you haven't watched our video on the importance of colostrum for newborn South African lambs, we encourage you to watch it for more information. As mentioned previously, Capri Dapper keeps frozen milk and keeps goats to ensure we have enough milk for any orphaned lambs. We manually feed these lambs and place them with ewes that have recently given birth, hoping that the orphan lamb will be adopted by the new mothers. However, there are occasions when the milk must be supplemented to ensure the lamb's health and proper growth rate. We give a multivitamin injection every week for four weeks. At Capri Dopper, we tail dock and ear tag lambs within the first week. It's crucial to disinfect all areas to prevent infection. These tasks can be tricky, so we usually enlist the assistance of a veterinarian to ensure they are done correctly. We deworm every two weeks for the first two months. Remember to rotate dewormers to decrease worm resistance and discuss dosage with your vet. Capri Dopper weans lambs at six to eight weeks if they are two and a half times their birth weight. When lambs are weaned, it's important to separate ewes and rams to prevent early breeding. Although ewes and rams can breed, as young as six to eight weeks, doing so can lead to increased mortality in ewes and reduce the lifespan of the rams. Following the weaning process, lambs are introduced to crib feed to ensure they receive adequate nutrition. Initially, they should be given at least half a kilogram of feed per animal in the morning. As the troughs empty, they should be promptly refilled to support optimal growth and development. Capri Dopper uses crib feed that is made from 70% carbohydrates and 30% protein and includes the following ingredients. Salinomycin, rice germ, lime, toxin binder, molasses, soya dry, sunflower milled, and wheat bran. Free access to minerals, salts, and clean water is also essential for optimal health and growth rates. Introduce Lusan pellets when lambs have been feeding on crib feed and seem ready to eat more substantial feed. They should be fed at least half a kilogram per animal in the afternoon. Spray the pellets with water for ease of consumption and monitor closely to ensure there is no choking for the first few weeks. Between 30 to 90 days, provide the following vaccinations. Jovoclast T, Jovopast, Bluvax, Sheep and Goat Pox, Anthrax, Foot and Mouth. Consult your vet on dosage and timing of these essential vaccinations. To contact James, please note that he is often occupied with farm duties. We appreciate your patience if there is a delay in his response. Attending an educational farm visit is a valuable opportunity 
to gain insights into DOPR farming practices, obtain comprehensive information, and address your specific business-related inquiries. Farm visits are available on Saturdays or by appointment, and a per-person charge applies.